Good Saturday morning to you, everybody. We are inside of the Idea Lab, inside of the Think Tank. These are two new spaces here at the Imagination Station. I have Chief Scientist Carl Nelson here. Carl, putting my glasses on first. So what are we doing today? Well, one of the workshops we offer in this space is called soldering. Okay, which it everyone does that you know, at some point in their life, they probably need to use it. Yeah, if you're into electronics, we actually make these little blinky badges. So we have people solder on LED lights, hmm. um, battery holders, and you make your own little robot. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so that's the actual activity, but I thought we would like step it up a bit and talk about soldering a little bit differently in terms of these copper pipes. Sure. Because this might be something that you're possibly more familiar with in terms of when you say the word solder. Right, that's what I think of. You know, you th this actually is not what I would think of initially, right. so, okay. Um, but it's the same process, same basic process. All right. So what soldering is, is you're taking two pieces of material, mm -hmm. like this pipe, let's say we want to join these back together again. Sure. We could add on what's called a union, and then we could add some low uh, melting point metal, like solder, okay. around 700 degrees. All right. Heat this up, put the solder in there, it'll join these two things together, okay? So that we can't pull them apart. So you can't pull them apart. Okay. Ideally, it'll be watertight if you do this well. <laughs> and at the same way with our little blinky badges here, mm -hmm. the solder not only holds the LEDs in place, but it also forms an electrical connection. Ah, so they're actually blinking. So they're blinking. There's okay. actually little microchips inside the lights that make them blink. Hmm. So the solder's doing two things, All holding right. it together and providing an electrical connection. Whew, setting so the bar high this morning, yeah. Carl. So, okay. so we're gonna do some soldering here. What I need you to do though is mm -hmm. take the steel wool, sure. clean the end of where I broke that apart. Okay. Because in order to solder things well, you want the surfaces to be clean. And that looks that looks pretty good. Okay. I want you to do mm -hmm. the other other side of this one. All right. So this is a sort of a mechanical cleaning. We're using some steel wool to clean off any oxide, any junk. Oh, that's nice. All right. Next step is going to do a little chemical cleaning. So take some of that paste there okay. and just sort of wipe it around the edge. It's called flux. And what it does, it sort of chemically cleans a little bit, helps the solder flow a little bit better. So perfect. That All looks right. nice. Okay. Now we're going to add our union on top. I'm going to put this in here like so that. So we put it the way that we that's want it to want be, it. ideally. Okay. I'm going to put it in our vise here. And this is where you are actually going to do the soldering. You pick up this lead-free solder. Okay. In fact, we're going to make it a little bit longer so you can keep your hands away from the flames. All right. And what we're going to do is heat this pipe up with our torch. Okay. And when it gets hot enough, mm -hmm. you're actually going to bring that solder over just to this very top part, okay. that top lip. All right, right but don't, here. Don't do it quite yet. Okay. We're not quite hot enough. The metal needs to be hot enough around 700 degrees or so for the solder to flow. All so right. Go ahead and bring it in. Okay. Yep, go ahead and put it in there. push it yep. down, right? Oh, yep. we're right, starting to see it right, flow. Right where the crack is, a little bit higher. Okay. Yep, perfect. Bring it around, move it around, bring it over here. Okay. And you actually pull it away. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Let me heat it up a little bit. Bring it up front so the camera can see. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful right there. And what we're actually seeing is, if you can see that well, wow. the solder's actually flowing. That's perfect. Yeah, you, all you the can, way around. You can pull away. Perfect. Let's huh. just cool that down a little bit. And what we've done is, actually not soldering, but it's called sweating. We're sweating the pipe because there's capillary action that's pulling that solder in between because those pipes fit together so tightly. Sure. Um, in the case of doing electronics, we're actually soldering where we're just melting a blob of solder and just holding tiny it. Tiny little pieces tiny to get it together. Here, technically, you know, it's called sweating, but right there we've got what looks like a pretty good joint. Okay. And you've soldered together two pipes. Well, I'm no professional. That's but okay. You, you practice, made me look practice, like one practice. in just a few moments exactly. here. And this is something that uh, for those people who might be watching and are in this field of whether it be plumbing or something yeah. else like that, very common for them to use this every day. Sure, sure, absolutely. Um, but down here, we yeah. do it to make electronics yeah. and, and make things that you can take home in the idea lab. Sure, and that's something that we want to talk about really briefly here. We talked about this space being yeah. a new space, and so if you come to the Imagination Station, uh, this is a special space that you sign up for, right? On, on the weekends, we offer workshops where families can pay to learn how to solder and then take their items home with them. Okay. Um, school groups during the weekdays can reserve a workshop in this space mm -hmm. um, with aligned to standards, pre and post visit information, and it's a cool package. Check out the website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. Okay. And all the information is there for activities in the think tank inside okay. Idea Lab. Something to keep in mind, especially during the summer months. Yeah. This will keep the kids' minds working. Absolutely. Through that time. All right, Lots well, cool Carl stuff. Nelson, thanks for making me look like a pro yep. on this week's Imagine It. <laughs> and just a reminder, it is Saturday. That means that Lucas County residents with a paid adult get in free. The children 12 and under get in free with a paid adult here at Imagination Station. That's this week's Imagine It.